uh, my name is uh, Kate Hutchinson and I am in the business applications team. I am the head of business applications at the moment, looking after our consultants, implementing D365 Business Central in the main, but also working with D365 um, sales. And also we've got some Dynamics GP customers as well that we've looked after for a number of years as well. Um, I have worked for what was JMC, then IT Lab and now Content and Cloud for, I think it's coming up to 20 years this year, which has gone extremely fast. Um, never really been given a reason to leave, hence the reason why I'm, why I'm still um, hanging around. And I guess that, you know, things have changed in that time significantly. And I've moved up in various different roles, but um, yeah, head of, head of business applications, Yes, we, we spend a lot of time with family and friends. We like to um, entertain um, as a family and have people around. We would love to probably travel a little bit more than we have been over the last three years, that is for sure. So getting some um, traveling in and visiting various places. We've, I think because of the pandemic, we probably spend a bit more time in similar places when we've traveled. We've been to Lanzarote a couple of times in the last few years, uh, but interested in going a bit further afield and maybe a trip to New York would be nice soon. So yeah, traveling, entertaining, spending time, good quality time with uh, friends and family. One of the things that I loved as a, a, a young um, lady, let's say, was um, football. I absolutely loved football when I was growing up supporting uh, Manchester United. And I lived on the other side of the Pennines in South Yorkshire and decided that I really wanted to move closer to Manchester to be able to go to more matches at Old Trafford. So I guess I as soon as I finished my degree, which I finished off in, in Lancashire in Preston, I went back to Doncaster and said, no, I've got to move to Manchester. So I applied for various roles. My degree is in um, finance and business and accounting. So I applied for lots of different roles around that. And the one that I fell upon was a role supporting different accounting software in Manchester, which was um, for JMC. So I ended up in IT through my kind of finance background and it, it took off from there really. So I've, I've always been able to use my finance knowledge and background and really have enjoyed that, but obviously with the IT tech side of it as well. I've never really, I guess I've never really noticed that I'm a woman in tech. I've, I do, there are a lot of, um, you know, uh, men in, uh, uh, content and cloud and generally as uh, throughout my career if you're in a, a meeting generally there will be probably more men than women right now but I've worked with a lot of different women across the time and I've always enjoyed my time working with them within within tech and I don't think anyone's ever um, felt the, that they've been um, what am I trying to say? I guess I've never really noticed it so much where I felt a, 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 a negative around it, really, to be honest. I've always been accepted and um, by lots of different, obviously, colleagues. I've definitely, I'm definitely a team player, so, you know, it doesn't bother me, you know, who's in the team, whether it's a man or a woman or anything like that. I, I don't really feel that I've been held back in, in terms of being a woman in tech, if I'm honest. I think that you know things change very quickly in this industry so I've always liked that it's never been stale I'm definitely not doing the same thing every day I think since the pandemic I miss probably going out to client sites a little bit more and having that kind of personal touch with different clients and learning to understand how different clients want you to work with them and that kind of personal side of it I think I've missed that a little bit but at the same time we've probably got a little bit of a better work-life balance now in terms of you know being able to spend time um, at home but yeah I think content and cloud it's definitely challenging, it's fast paced, there's plenty of goals to achieve and aim for. So I guess in that respect, then, you know, it's always rewarding as well. Um, I guess that, you know, I think 
Content and cloud is always, you know, evolving. There's definitely um, opportunities that arise in probably areas that you don't expect them to. So you might come in and particular and work for a particular team, but then an opportunity arises in a completely different team across content and cloud that something that you might be interested in. So there's always something available, always a challenge, and the people here always, you know, uh, it's an enjoy enjoyable place to work with the people that you're working with.